issue on the debate stage. Governor Abbott attacked no, correct me if I'm wrong. Were... of our tax dollars Joe on Biden what has turned out to be a democracy is still the best system of large scale governance anywhere. So the third annual Ignite Institute Political Forum will be held here on Thursday, October 20th. We have uh, candidates from six different races running for State House, State Senate, and U.S. House that will all be here. And our freshman government classes will be doing activities to research the issues that are important to them. They'll research the candidates who are running for office, and then they will write different questions to ask those candidates. And some of them will be selected to actually participate in the forum and ask the candidates live their questions. So for most of them, we'll have a live debate between the two different candidates running for office. Some of them will just have one candidate and the other one is unavailable to be here, but we'll ask uh, those candidates the same questions. And hopefully it's an opportunity for the students to get to meet the candidates, as well as the candidates to get an opportunity to get their message out to the people. So here at Ignite, we think it's important for students to have authentic learning experiences. So instead of just studying the US government, these students are gonna be active participants in it. Um, we want them to realize that even though these are freshmen, so they're like 14, 15 years old, they still have the agency and the ability to affect the world around them. And we want them to realize that the people running for office and that are making decisions about their lives are just that, they're people, just like everybody else here. And as citizens, they have, our students have the right and even the duty to question them and hold them accountable uh, for the decisions that they make. So that's what we really want the students to get out of this event. That's why we hold it here. And that's why we have the students interacting live with these people who are making decisions about their lives. I think seeing these candidates live and in person and realizing that they're just human, they're flawed, they're not anything special necessarily, um, it does bring to the students, especially these freshmen, you know, the realization that uh, you know, they can do this too. They can affect the world around them. There's different things they can do even though they can't vote. They can organize, um, they can influence people, they can educate people about certain issues, and they can advocate for themselves and for other people around them.